It's the final of the Busby Blasters, or at least of the archetype of the new Busby Blasters that I haven't really reviewed yet. While I do technically have the Predator and things like the Interceptor and the original Zenith, because I have the different versions of those released previously, this is one that I actually don't have anything of, unless you count the Baron, which is <laughs> strikingly similar, and yet, in fact, the Sentry is tiny bit smaller. This I found at my local Kmart. It cost me $6.99, and it comes with five of the Precise Pro Darts, which I'm willing to bet is why this thing costs so freaking much compared to the Baron, which was a $5 blaster at the time, because these darts are, for some reason, very, very expensive. I'm betting it has something to do with how they're manufactured, because they have those different heads on them, and we'll talk about that in a moment, but I'm actually pretty excited for this. I'm excited to see if they changed anything about the grip to make it slightly more comfortable, but it boasts a 90-foot range claim, which is pretty decent, although Busby has been kind of over estimating those recently. And other than that, it just shows the original Zenith on the back, the Thermal Hunter. Weird they don't show the Thermal Zenith. Shows the instructions as a front loader with two darts, uh, rotating plunger tube, I can assume, just like the Baron. And really nothing else about it. It's compatible with all darts because it's a front loader. That makes sense. And we're just going to open this sucker up and pull out the blaster itself, which is a little hard because of these twist ties. All right, here's the blaster itself. And uh, the grip is slightly thicker than the Baron's, which helps, but it's about the same length. It's not terrible. This nub right here already bites into my hand. This thing is meant for toddler hands. This does not fit all that well. The Baron is usable. It's a little more comfortable than this, except for this rides the back of your palm a lot better. So I don't know, you be the judge on that one. No trigger guard, which is a little bit annoying. Top Prime. I mean, that can be expected. Let's get these darts out of here. If it's anything super awesome. Now I have played around with the internals on the Zenith and I am very impressed with that. Although the turret is your biggest obstacle on the Zenith. But if this is similar, this might be worth doing something with, so. Cock that back. Ooh, that has, uh, uh-oh. Back shot. Row, row, raggy. It's got some pop. Whoa, oh, that one, yep, that one just hit me in the head. Well, let's range test this thing, because I think that will be slightly interesting. This is actually hitting kind of hard. Well, ain't this a familiar sight? So, we're gonna shove these things on there. Try to get them. This bottom barrel is a little tricky. I think it worked. Let's see how well it does. Nice automatic return of the spring right there. Well, seems. The slight angle these things do rock it pretty hard. I mean, for the size of the pistol, uh, it, this is actually really impressive for what it is. It's not very big at all, and the distance is pretty, pretty darn good. This might be, especially with whatever mod potential it might have, but even stock, I mean, that's hitting higher than any elite standard, so I'm wondering how, this has to crony probably in the high 70s, mid 80s. That is not bad at all. Again, this thing is rather compact, so, and it's thin too. There, there might be something going on with this thing. Again, only two shots, but two shots is better than one. And that's a lot of draw for how big that plunger tube could be. We might have a sleeper here, I'm not sure. I'm gonna crony this thing and I might even open it up. I think I will, because I'm really interested. Now, I'm not gonna take the Baron apart, partially because I'm lazy, but just looking at the priming mechanisms on the top, it's a little difficult to see, but they're identical. Uh, while it looks like this one has more traction, it really doesn't. They have the same draw and everything like that, same plunger tubes. Um, I, I'm willing to bet these are identical inside. They're the same width and everything. I mean, they're the same mechanism. I'm willing to bet they're the same, but somebody can prove me wrong down in the comment section below. I'd love to be told otherwise, which means basically any mod that you could do to a Baron, you could most likely do to this one. I haven't kept up with them all that well, but opening this up, 
Yeah, that's a pretty beefy sized plunger tube. Again, it's one that rotates, uh, catches, really powerful, really powerful catch right there. So that will probably be no effort whatsoever to do some kind of spring upgrade. I don't believe these take a K26, but I do believe they could take like an exploder spring or something in them to make them a little more powerful. Cause yeah, the, these are, that's huge. And of course you can remove the whole rotation mechanism to make it shoot both at once if you're really into that. But it's uh, it's not bad. It really honestly isn't that bad. Uh, it didn't crony exactly how I thought it would. It's actually hitting lower than 70 even though the distance seemed far beyond just a little bit anyway than any kind of stock nerf blaster I've shot out there. I don't know what it was. I even tried it with elite darts and that got even worse. Uh, again, like high 50s for elites and then high 60s for the precise pro darts. So I'm not exactly sure how well this thing will do modding wise, but I will tell you that it's grown on me quite a bit. I actually really really like the idea of this blaster now it's not very thick the grip is slightly better than the one that's on the baron and it's just a nice little profile for a two-shot pistol and with that size of plunger tube i'm sure you can do something nice with it i think people have made these hit really really hard so it wouldn't surprise me if somebody has done something magical to make this hit hard which could be done identically to the century here is it worth seven bucks? I would say so. It's not terrible. It's pretty darn cool looking. Um, I've actually, I was pretty tepid when I first got this out of the box, but now that I've played with it a little bit more, I'm a bit more of a fan of the Sentry here. It's gonna be a little difficult to holster with the top priming slide right there, but the overall profile, the way it handles, I do like the Sentry and if you're into this kind of thing, I might be able to recommend it. I might mod mine in the future, so you may see this one again, but let me know if there's some kind of crazy Baron mod out there, because I'm willing to bet they're identical. In fact, I'm sure Brett or somebody can tell me they're identical inside by the looks of it. Um, just by looking at the plunger, uh, the uh, priming rod, I can tell they're probably the same inside, but I'm rambling at this point. That is my review and testing of the Buzz B Air Warrior Sentry. Let me know what you think down in the comment section below. I would again love to hear what you think this thing can do. Otherwise, this has been Walk On With 7's Hands. Thank you very much for watching this video, and of course, I hope to see you in an entirely different one, or one involving this again sometime in the future.